In this video, we're gonna consider what is known as the inter-arrival time uh, using Excel. Uh, before I start, please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. If you have a question, write, say, leave a comment, or write to my email address. So, to start with, inter-arrival time is the first step in, imp in input analyzer on arena simulation is by uh, calculating the time using Excel. Okay, so uh, what we've done here, which is extremely important, and the create module usually used the inter arrival time or the time between arrival as uniform distribution or constant or normal distribution, which is a probability distribution, a known probability distribution. How about if it does not have a function that describes this probability distribution? What's meant by this? If um, I'm I'm, st I'm standing at the warehouse and there's 12 trucks that's gonna come getting served and they leave the warehouse okay so I'm gonna delete this because I've obviously I copied the same number as the service time so why we're gonna do here is the following so we have 12 trucks are coming to a warehouse they're gonna be served and uh, they leave the warehouse which is the arrival time is the time they come using a stopwatch and the departure time is the time they left therefore the service time is obviously the departure time minus the arrival time okay so this is the first one it took 38 minutes the second 49 minutes and all the way till the end there are 12 trucks so usually in the create module we have saying if we set up as a constant just time between arrival to five minutes therefore every five minutes there is one truck that arrive so here let's calculate the arrival time between the first and the second therefore this one will be this time the second arrive minus the first arrive so we have three minutes to 20 second between the first one and the second one and all the way down between we have seven minutes between this one two minutes between those two ones so this is the interval time and we're gonna use the input analyzer in order to define the probabilities the distributions that represent those times and this in this way we make the simulation as accurate or the, as realistic as possible and you're gonna do the same for the service time which is those values here which is the time uh, uh, the time consumed to service every truck and this is the inter-arrival time which is the difference in time between the arrival of the second minus the first one of the third minus second one all the way to the end so before we carry on let's change this time into second so this one is equal to this times 86400 and all the way down and we're gonna do format this will be general so we have here 200 second 938 second 1358 second all the way down till the end okay so this is the first video you and how to set or how to work on the input analyzer using a real data and I'm gonna remind you in the create model there is what's known as time between arrival it could be constant it could be normal distribution it could be uniform it could be any expression in this case it could be even a schedule in this case we're gonna consider a realistic example we have 12 trucks arriving to a warehouse so we start by using a stopwatch to measure the time to record the time when the trucks they arrive to that warehouse which is the arrival time we put them in this column so the inter arrival time is or time between arrival is a difference between for example truck 2 minus truck 1 truck 3 minus truck 2 and in this we convert them into a second we start by multiplying by 86400 and we format we format the cells into general okay into general category so what's the second movie where i will take those data and i implement those data in the input analyzer and then i move the function obtained into the arena